In Indonesia, there was a president whose name was Suharto. He is famously known as Mr. 25% because all the major contracts in his country he used to take 25% kickback illegally. This type of fraud is very famous across the globe where a person in power, for example a purchase manager or a director in a company or a politician of a country accepts inflated orders or invoices from vendors for a kickback like a percentage in commission or any other benefit illegally. Media Power has released bogus invoices that allowed Dasso by the infamous for a scam. Bogus invoices, kickbacks running into over 7.5 million euros. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can find out such frauds especially for a large set of data using data analysis and standard deviation in Microsoft Excel. First of all, you need to know what do you mean by standard deviation. For that, I'll give an example. Once one of my client, Mr. Rajesh, who was over 65 years old, approached a stockbroker asking which mutual fund to buy, equity or debt. The stockbroker told him the average return over past 10 years in case of equity is 20% and 15% in case of debt-oriented mutual funds. Mr. Rajesh, who was over 65 years old, thought that he would go for equity as the average return in case of equity is more higher. And then he just asked the broker to tell him the returns of the past 5 years for debt mutual fund. The broker said 15% in year 1, 16% in year 2, then 14%, then 15%, then 14% again for the next 3 years. Then Mr. Rajesh asked, can you tell me the last 5 years return for equity? The broker said, 35% in year 1, 14% in year 2, 28% in year 3, minus 15% in year 4. Oh, minus 24% in year 5. Oh, 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 oh. Well, 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 it left Mr. Rajesh worried. Since he is not ready to take such a big risk of negative returns at the age of 65 years. In other words, he is not ready to take such a risk. Here is where the concept of standard deviation comes into picture. Well, average returns tells you the average of the data. However, standard deviation tells you how dispersed the data is. In other words, how much risky it is. Now let us go to Excel and find out how to apply this practically in Microsoft Excel for data analysis and fraud detection. This is a real example of the data of a company involved in selling bakery items, cakes, ice creams on a large scale in the state of Qatar. They buy raw materials locally and globally also. Here if you notice, there are many spaces and the data is not in a proper format. Over here, I did a data cleaning process and converted into this. This data cleaning process has been explained in detail towards the end of the video. This purchase register contains the supplier name, name of the item which has been tagged as description, units, quantity, price per unit of the item and then the total amount. The data is for the year 2020. Now for data analytics, I would like to know one important factor that is that is is the price of the items procured appropriate this term appropriate can be ideally determined using using a benchmark or understanding the pattern at what prices the items were purchased during the year or we can also compare it with the previous year figures plus or minus the inflation for example purpose, I have considered data of only one year and I would like to understand the standard deviation of the prices of the items procured during the year. In other words, I would like to know how dispersed the prices is for all the items. Let's get back. Now I want to get the standard deviation for all the items. Over here, I can use the formula of standard deviation. But there are over 2500 line items with hundreds of products. So I use pivot table for data analysis. 
I select the entire table, go to insert and click pivot table and click on OK. The pivot table appears. I drag the description in rows and all the items appear here. Then I drag the price per unit in the values box and the sum of the price of the unit appears. Over here I do not need the sum but I need the standard deviation. So I click here then I choose standard deviation P. Please note that it is very important to choose standard deviation P and not just standard deviation. And yes the standard deviation appears. Now we select any cell and sort the data by clicking here and descending order and sort by standard deviation. I am using Macbook in case you are using Microsoft then the option for sort would appear over here. Now we get the data. Wow this just looks beautiful. The highest standard deviation is around 21,000. Once we double click on the number, we get the list. Wow, this is just beautiful. We notice that the double guitar cutter which was purchased normally at 8,098. There is just one transaction that shows that the same product was also purchased at 57,355. This is interesting. Very interesting. Why would someone purchase a cutter for more than 5 times the cost which is normally procured for? Well, this seems it needs attention. I would surely like to check the invoices and also obtain an answer for this. Well, we see again for the next item which is 3 frame cutter. Double click and oh ho 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 ho. There is a major variation here also. For further analysis, you can add the total amount here as well and then concentrate only on the amount which are significant. I'll just tell you one thing. This analysis may not work for agriculture items or items which have high price fluctuation. For example, let's take mangoes. Mangoes during the, its initial peak season is very expensive and as the rains comes by it becomes very cheap. This analysis can be used in many areas and not just the purchase register. You can find out the standard deviation for marketing or advertising expenses incurred. You can also crack down on incentives that are earned by the employees. The salaries are fixed but the incentive portion are not fixed and if the incentives for some employees in certain months are very high, then standard deviation would catch it very easily. Where you can use it? Well, you can use standard deviation everywhere where you expect consistency in data. So guys, this was about standard deviation. But, but there is a small twist. Now you might be thinking, that this is so easy, it's a no-brainer. But what if I tell you that there is a mistake in this? I want you to spend around about 2 minutes on this. You can pause the video and think what is wrong with this. What is wrong with this? Well, you can't compare the standard deviation of two different products. Means, I'll give an example. Suppose you are considering the standard deviation of length of snakes. Well, the length of snakes generally ranges from few centimeters to 20 to 24 feet and the largest standard deviation would be around 20 feet. But if we consider say the standard deviation of skyscrapers in USA, well in that case the minimum standard deviation would be in hundreds of feet. So it is not correct to compare these two. Well, well, standard deviation means how well the data is dispersed from its average. The standard deviation shown here is in absolute terms and we need to change it to relative term that is in percentage form. We divide the standard deviation with the average of the data and convert it into percentage form. When we divide standard deviation with the average, what we get is called the coefficient of variation. 
coefficient of variation most of us might have learned in school mathematics. So we drag the amount again, summarize it as average, then we divide. Since pivot table does not have coefficient of variation included, we calculate it outside the pivot table. So standard deviation divided by average into 100. And we copy paste here and oh, <laughs> well, 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 you can't do it this way. It would not give you the correct results. We have to manually type the formula B5 divided by C5 into 100. This I have typed it. Please note that I copy paste here and here are the results. Wow. 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 So here we consider those items in priority where standard deviation is high, amount is high and the coefficient of variation is also high. Here I won't consider standard deviation of 33, 24, 28, but 106. Oh, 106 as a percentage term is very high and I would be very interested to know about it. And if you notice the general amount per unit is around 2000, but there are around two entries. Those are about 22,000, which we have to verify. So that's it guys. I have listed few more data analytics, advanced audit techniques and business analysis techniques in the description box below like the RSF theory, also known as the risk factor theory. This method helps you to find out the outliers in the data. It is like the ledger scrutiny done effectively and efficiently in a very large set of data very quickly and it also helps you to analyze and find out apparent mistakes very fast and zero down on suspicious transactions. We have also listed Pareto analysis method that is how to apply the 80-20 rule in data analysis and how to read and interpret the data. In case you are interested, please do check out our videos. Please do subscribe, like, share and do not forget to hit the notification bell icon. Thank you.